Hello, and thank you for tuning in to part one of my three-part vlog series about CRMs or customer relationship management software. The series will be providing reviews from www g2crowd.com, a wonderful website where businesses can go and provide feedback on all sorts of business-related software. Also, I will be screen sharing and showcasing key features and general functionality of these systems because in life, it's easy to get caught in trends, but in business, everything should be calculated. This series will help you to sift through the information to help make more informed business decisions. But with that in mind, I would just like to say that these opinions are my own, and I would always recommend doing thorough research into your day-to-day -day and choosing which CRM would best work for you. So, without further ado, let's get talking about Zoho. So, when making any business decision, your first thought is, what's my price point for this? And Zoho is very affordably priced. They have four options, which are the standard, professional, enterprise, and ultimate. Standard's priced at $144 a year. Professional is priced at $240 a year. Enterprise, $420 a year. And ultimate, $1,200 a year. And each of these obviously have different features, more features when raising price, as you would expect. Uh, but, it, I mean, the lower end option, standard, is still really good for businesses that are starting up if you really want a low cost option, but to get the most out of your business. And all of those prices are without processing fees and then also local taxes that would be applied to those as well. Once you've reviewed pricing, you should definitely take a look at the features portion and determine which would be most useful and effective for your company. Don't just choose the highest price option because it's best and has the most features because you might be paying for things that you don't need. And obviously, if you are starting business or if you're an older business, maximizing profit is always going to be important. So immediately, the first thing about Zoho that you realize when you sign on is that it completely walks you through. It gives step-by-step -step instructions and it also even provides informative videos on how to display the information in a more professional, business-like fashion. Really, really great when you're just starting up, you're not entirely sure, not entirely on your feet yet, but you're developing that sort of plan. Uh, then you uh, get to the home page and it really sets itself apart from the other CRMs. And one thing that typically you kind of see with business related software is it's not necessarily sexy or, or visually appealing. And that's, that's not the case with Zoho. Uh, it's got a lot of bright colors uh, and it's easy to differentiate between the tabs. And so it's easy to flow right through and decide, you know, whether you need to look at analytics or the reports or the leads or the contacts, or you just need to generally go to your calendar. That's all in front of you right when you open up the software. And also, what I really like is right on the home page, it gives you a visual representation of the sales that you've done either per month or the uh, what they actually need to be qualified. And it just really is all right there at the hands of not only the representative or the salesman, but for management as well. So it all comes together. The two functions of uh, Zoho that really set itself apart from other CRMs are the Analytics tab and the Game Scope option. So if you go to the Analytics tab, you see the immediate value that you've actually created for your company. This is a motivating factor and really pushes people, especially when in sales positions, you can have especially huge issues with burnout. Uh, with you being able to see that immediate value that you created, it helps you to work harder or uh, you know, be proud of the work that you've already done. Um, like I said, the game scope option is also a very great motivating factor and not something that I've seen across the board either. If you go into the bottom right hand corner of the page, you'll see a little controller icon. Uh, you'll just have to go there and once you click on that, you'll actually open and click on the new game tab. Then, uh, just like you see here, I created a fake game. Uh, you will also have to have a partner, which is fake guy for now. But once you get here and you actually click on your fake game, uh, as long as you both are in the same or similar sort of positions, managerial positions, sales positions, it'll track uh, and compare, as you can see here, notes added, 
emails sent, potentials won, tasks completed, and leads converted. And with these, you can also potentially win achievements or badges. And all of these little things are just ways to motivate your employees to keep your customers happy. The value that that creates is almost incalculable. So whenever choosing a CRM, I would also include that as a factor in determining what would be best for you and your company. So I just wanted to thank you for tuning in, listening, watching, whatever it may be. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please, uh, if you have any feedback, go to the contact portion of my website and submit that. That'll send directly to my email. And if you are a follower, please continue to do that. It's really very much appreciated.